It's Alex Clark. Morgan McMichael is here. We're talking conspiracy theories today. It's going to get spooky. It's going to get spooky. Some of them, I guess, are funny. Some of them are serious. And then we get to see if we believe the conspiracy theories or not. Subscribe, like this video. Let's watch. Michael Jackson, also known as the King of Pop, was one of the most popular singers, songwriters, and dancers of the 20th century. Made famous by his voice, songs, and the also famous moonwalk, he became an all-time favorite amongst society. On June 25, 2009, less than three weeks before his This Is It show, Michael Jackson died from cardiac arrest in his home after being given various medications by his personal physician, Conrad Murray. However, the video you are seeing now was taken on the same day of Michael Jackson's death, which shows what looks to be the famous pop star being escorted out of a coroner's van into a secluded area. What? Some might say that this, this happened before, before his no. death, but officials pronounced him dead at 2.26 p.m. Pacific time, and this video was taken at night that same day. But what would be, I guess, what would be the reasoning behind why they would do this? Why would they fake his death? Is it because the pedophile accusations were building up to such an extreme that they were like, we got it, we got to hide him? Why would they fake his death? It, it doesn't make sense to me in society because he was loved and praised. He had great music, even though everything was going on in society. Maybe he's he's like got an Epstein thing going on and people want to protect him. Maybe. Oh, this is the queen of the Illuminati, Beyonce. She said that whenever she performs on stage, someone named Sasha Fears comes into her body and takes over. She literally explains all this herself on YouTube, but check this out. She literally says she has out-of-body experiences. If I cut my leg, I don't fall. I don't feel it. I am so fearless, and I'm not aware of my face or body. I raised my hands up, and it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. Her ex-drummer filed a restraining order against her and accused her of killing her cat to use it for witchcraft. <laughs> Look at the necklace of this picture of Sasha Fierce. This is literally the symbol of the temple of Satan. Killing her drummer's kitten or whatever. I'd never heard that. I've never heard about that. this in general at all. I don't think that Beyonce is a very nice person. That's my conspiracy no. theory about Beyonce. This wasn't convincing enough, but I will say there's definitely Hollywood elites and weird things going on in there. Her and, and Jay-Z. Her and Jay-Z. Z together. Oh yeah, our sketch. Allegedly, when Avril Lavigne debuted in 2002, she found the fame incredibly difficult to handle, so her label employed a look-alike. An actress named Melissa Vandella, who was typically no. used for paparazzi diversions as well as red carpet events. But it was reported that around this time, Avril Lavigne ended things due to severe depression, but a record label, having already invested millions of dollars, still did own the commercial name Avril Lavigne. The theory being that Melissa Vandella was then trained and employed to step into her place full time and just assumed this role of Avril. But the reason people believe this theory is that they've mostly spotted the key differences in just how much Avril has changed between 03 and 04. What? Physically, yes, but even her handwriting seemed to change in the oh, most Oh, that's perplexing. strange. Her speaking voice. I want to be singing someone else's lyrics. I want to be singing mine and what came from my heart and my opinions and how I believe and how I think. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here for the grand opening to Koi's, my favorite restaurant, my favorite sushi restaurant in the world. But what freaks me out the most about this is that if you look up articles about this conspiracy when it first broke like five years ago, most of the videos and pictures supporting the story have actually since been deleted. I don't think this conspiracy theory is real because Avril also, there was all that time off that she took because what? She has Lyme disease or something. She has yeah. some kind of chronic illness that makes it so she's bedridden a lot of times. She's in pain. If you had a stunt double or an actress kind of, you know, portraying her, then you wouldn't be taking all these years off and doing all right. that. You know what I mean? Like, why would you do that? I've also never seen a stunt double or a replacement person stand in ever look this good. And I just feel like it's a little, unless you have a biological identical twin. Well, Avril. Avril came on the scene as a teenager. Right. I, I, I you know, the, the slight differences in her face and stuff, I think that could be chalked up to aging. You have to watch this video that I'm about to show you, and then let's talk about it after. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Oh my gosh. Just AI Would you believe me? Knowing that the technology is out there to be able to do stuff like that and we would not know the difference makes me wonder what else, what else do we see that is not actually true? 
AI has changed the entire world. Everything can be duplicated and manipulated by AI. I don't know if you saw this, but there's a new song that came out and blew up on TikTok that's a Drake song, but it's not actually Drake. It was completely done by AI and The Weeknd on it, but neither of them were actually on the song. And it was totally AI made and everyone thought it was real. With the invention of AI, who's to say that we don't have AI presidents going forward? Each party could just create the ideal candidate and they're completely yep. fake and then they run for president and they just you know it's like a computer running the country that could happen i've been hearing some conspiracy theories about britney spears claiming she is dead or missing and others are covering it up i didn't believe them but then i noticed this this is a clip posted on Britney's instagram on the 14th of december of her and her husband sam okay Watch hmm. Britney's sleep when she raises her arm. It appears to be an overlay, which is done when two separate clips are stitched together to make it appear they are together. <laughs> People no. first speculated something was wrong when Britney's Instagram accounts started reposting old clips. There are also no paparazzi shots of her recently, despite her socials and team claiming she has been out. If this clip is genuine and Britney is fine, why would they fake this? What do you think? All right, here's what I think. I think that when her hand was turned in where it looks like it's cut off, mm -hmm. I think her, her hand is just facing like her stomach or something and yeah. her bell sleeve it's just is covering sleeve. it. What was it, Save Britney or something? Free Britney. Free Britney, yeah. No, I think Britney Spears is alive, but I think that freeing her from the conservatorship may have been a mistake. That's my <gasps> hot take. I don't think that her dad was the best guy, but maybe her dad was right and he was like, I know my daughter better than the public and she needs a conservatorship. Yeah, have you seen that one theory that Benjamin Franklin might have been like like a serial killer. No. What? Yeah, so back in 1776, I guess he lived in London at this one house and then he moved back to America or whatever. And during 1998, they wanted to make the house into like a museum. So while they're renovating the place and they, you know, they're digging it up, like they're going underneath it, bro, they find a pretty much like a room with no windows in it with 15 skeletons. No. What the and f? <laughs> <children's> <laughs> skeletons. Oh, what Whoa. the f? Yeah. So hell of people theorize that he might have been a serial killer, a murderer, yeah, and he killed all the people and hid their bodies underneath his house. Yo, what? Damn near like this is really fun. Which politicians in history do you think would have the most potential of being a serial killer? <laughs> matter who I say, everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, Morgan thinks that blah, blah, blah is a serial killer. We're going to go with Thomas Jefferson. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Obviously, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, well, duh. Okay, you okay. Hillary Clinton, duh. Yeah. Oh, oh, Hill. How Does anyone know? want to tell me how in 1927, Universal Studios came up with this picture of the world? When the first picture of the world wasn't available until the 1960s through NASA? Almost 40 years later, how did what? Universal Studios know that this is what the world looked like? Especially from space, when we hadn't been to space yet. Does anyone know? Anyone want to guess? Hmm. Did people talk about the Earth being round before we went to space? Or was it all of a sudden us going to space in 1969? No. When we went to the moon, was that the first time people were like, wow, the Earth is round? I didn't know. Think about the sun. You know, the sun rises and it sets. Like, yeah. the, it's shifting. It's a do At least it's a dome. Right? I guess I don't know my history well enough to know if people talked about the Earth being round before that. I think you could hypothesize that the Earth was a sphere. Because, like, But you know what's even sphere. weirder? How did people know about space before we went there? <laughs> like, what's up there? <laughs> Clearly, Alex is not uh, an astronomer. <laughs> <laughs> There's this theory. Basically, we're living in a simulation. It's called simulation theory, where the scientists kind of made this theory that a more advanced civilization <laughs> could a potentially that we're in a have theory. created a simulation that we're currently living in. Oh, no. Which is pretty f***ing frightening, if you ask me. However, the, the funny thing the is podcast. that there's only hey, one way that inside. we can even know and even tell that we are, in fact, in a simulation. And that would be as we could observe some sort of glitch in the matrix. We don't live in a simulation and we don't live in the matrix. I think this is a little bit far fetched because like we're human beings. Like if you cut off your arm, like you have blood, like you're <laughs> made of matter. Like you're not like some. Let's find out. <laughs>
<laughs> like, like we're not just like bits and pieces made of like electronics. The Denver airport theory is so creepy. Oh, no one knows yeah. why it was built because Denver already had a fully functioning airport in downtown. But this one went $2 billion over budget and took two years longer than expected to finish. It's rumored that it cost so much because it has a five-story underground facility, which might be a doomsday bunker for the elite and rich or something much worse. But airport officials claim that it's just an underground baggage system that was never used. Throughout the airport, there's mm. also disturbing and eerie murals depicting True. things like destruction and the apocalypse. I and hate several this gargoyle I statues never. which are said to be symbols of protection. But the creepiest is this blue Mustang statue named Lucifer. It's 32 feet tall with glowing red eyes and when the artist was making it, the head fell over him which instantly killed him. But they still finished the statue and put it up. The airport also has two secret runways which are believed to be used by the government. And there's even a time capsule from 1994 buried inside which can't be opened until 2094 which might finally explain all of these secrets. What do you think they're hiding in the Denver airport? I think they're hiding a lot. Yeah, it's definitely satanic. Maybe that's where MJ and Tupac are. No, they're, they're under the airport in the baggage claim that's not being used. Which, if it wasn't, why isn't it being used? That doesn't make any sense. The murals are so disturbing. Every time I've flown into Denver, it weirds me out. I hate it. I don't like being there. There is weird vibes. And it's there's very just, ominous. Look, I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but there is something about the state of Colorado. I feel like something's off. I don't know if it's the elevation. Am I crazy <laughs> in that? I feel like a lot of these really horrific tragedies seem to always almost happen in Colorado or a lot of them have happened there. It's like very yeah. sad. I'm telling you there's something up with New Colorado. conspiracy coming out. What is up with Colorado? <laughs> have you noticed that in the last year, all your favorite celebrities are appearing skinnier than they ever have yeah, before? Yeah. Doctors are all talking about right now <laughs> that they believe it's because they're abusing a prescription medication Typically used by people with type 2 diabetes, are, but instead yes. for their own it's weight loss. It's not a conspiracy. We Ozempic, know. which they can now get easily prescribed to them, but will have to pay $1,300 per month. Which is what? nothing. There's yes. a shortage in this medication right now, partly believed because all celebrities are using it. Being super skinny is back in, unfortunately, and the rich people can easily achieve that body and keep it if they just use this self-injectable substance. Yeah, oh, I believe this hundred percent. No, yeah. it's it's not even like we know it. Like celebrity, I've been listening to a bunch of health and wellness podcasts. They have celebrity doctors on and stuff, and they're like, obviously, we cannot disclose what patients. But yes, a bunch of A list stars, <gasps> people are using it. I uh, I believe that Hollywood blinds have been saying that Demi Lovato is. Of course, Demi Lovato wow. has a history with eating disorders. But the thing is, is that if you stop using it, you're going to gain that weight right. back. The weight doesn't just magically stop. You know what I mean? Isn't like, it crazy how they all got surgeries though to like be bigger and curvier, and now they're having to reverse that using drugs daily they said that china found an uninhabited island filled with dinosaurs so what no they bro, didn't let me let me tell you the story let me <laughs> this tell would you be story, all right? over the news bro this was a couple of days ago a woman went to a nail salon so she's getting her nails done and then all the ladies suddenly just stop working and they look at the news she don't know what's going on it's chinese news so she she can't understand what they're saying so she gets Google Translator out, and what it says is like they found dinosaurs. So basically, <laughs> China had an expedition of 15 people to this uncharted land somewhere out in the world, and they found like actual dinosaurs. So far, they found two new species of dinosaurs, and one of those species of dinosaurs is like a machine, something we've never seen before, something like, like crazy. All these images are all stock it, images you know, of old dinosaurs, not like new dinosaurs. It could be that, or they could have actually really found some. It, this is totally no. uncredible on its face because we all like the people that are, are working in nail salons typically are Vietnamese. They're not True. Chinese. <laughs> So the whole thing doesn't make sense then because the Google Translate, 99% sure it would have picked up Vietnamese, not Chinese. So the whole thing falls apart right there. I'm calling this one. Also, if there were dinosaurs that were existing, I feel like this would be national news. It, th there's no images, no videos. What is the government so afraid of? The US Navy sets off a 40,000 pound bomb in the Atlantic Ocean, 100 miles from the coast of Florida, saying that it was only a military exercise. However, looking at the footage of the explosion, it definitely didn't seem like a regular military exercise. Hmm. Furthermore, it's known that there are unknown creatures or aliens living deep in the ocean. So, could it be possible that it wasn't a military exercise, no. but a cover-up to hmm. take out a deadly threat in the ocean? Well, the other day I saw for the first time, I didn't know this, but sharks have rows of teeth. Like, yeah. uh, they'll lose one row and the other row pops in and it's like yeah. it's like six rows back six rows deep of these teeth and now all of a sudden i'm scared of sharks i've really oh, never I been scared sharks. of them i don't know what's down there and also i think it's like 70 percent of our ocean hasn't even been researched yet 
Like there's so many unknowns in the ocean. It's never been something I've thought too much about, but I know that one fish with the light on it, was it Finding Nemo? Nemo? <laughs> that fish had, was scary looking real deep and he had that dangly light. I didn't like that. Out of all the conspiracy theories that we watched, which one do you think was the most believable? I honestly want to say the Benjamin Franklin one. I think if I do more research, I think that one might be the most believable. All the other ones, well, and the Ozempic for sure, but everything else, I'm not sure. My favorite conspiracy theory of all time also is my favorite true crime story of all time. It is the Johnny Gosh conspiracy theory. Real cute conservatives, real OG cute conservatives, I should say, remember and know this story. I've talked about it so many times, but that's my favorite. If you have one that you think that Morgan and I should look into, then uh, comment that below and maybe we'll check it out. We'll see you later. Bye.